Hi, I'm Chuck the Movie Guy, and welcome to Movie Reviews and Pre... What? There's something over my shoulder? Really? Audiences have seen John Connor in every evolution, even before he was born, as a kid, as a teenager. What kind of a John Connor are we getting here? Uh, we're getting a John Connor who, uh, who, who is in the future. He's the prophesized leader of the Resistance, but he's not yet become that leader. He, it's post-judgment day. He's a warrior. Um, incredibly proficient, you know, he's been tra uh, trained by his mother as a, as a guerrilla uh, warrior. And, uh, and, uh, and this is the becoming of John Connor. You knew going into this, all the versions of John Connor, you knew his backstory. Do you bring that in or you just start fresh and just... Well, no, we wanted to incorporate uh, the, the, the entire mythology. It's not like we're starting from a, a, a clean uh, canvas. Um, we want to incorporate that, but, uh, you know, he's a very changed man, as anybody would be after uh, the trauma of going through, uh, you know, Judgment Day. Talking about trauma, but this could have just been an action movie, but we see John Connor perplexed, listening to the tapes of his uh, mother, his predetermined life he's trying to figure out and so forth, and there's so much, is so heavy on him in this movie. Is that, was that important to you to have that? Well, I think that, you know, it's important to incorporate a human story, but I'm under no delusion that the human story is exactly what people are going for. People are going because they want to see the machines, and they want to see that action, and they want to have that excitement of the movie theater with everyone going nuts inside of it, which is what I found when I went to see T2. But we're humans, so you've got to have a human story, and you've got to have something to relate to there. That obviously makes it more interesting for us as actors as well. But, uh, you know, in no way uh, was I under any delusions about what we're making. We're making an action movie here. We're making a popcorn, summer, blockbuster, fun movie, and hopefully that's what we've achieved. McGee, obviously known for his action and so forth, that there's so many great long scenes, and I'm referring to the helicopter crash. We actually, right. it, it extends, and it makes you a part of the film. Is, is that, uh, does, is, is McGee bringing that to the table, or is those extra long scenes like Yeah, no, that? he has he has great uh, 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 eye, you know. Um, he, he creates great momentum and, uh, with the action. And uh, he, he promised me when we first met, he said, listen, uh, he, he, he does not plan on making a movie at all if it's not going to be better than anything he's ever done before and, and, and very different, and he's achieved that. They could have just done CGI in this day and age, and they could have just done the explosions afterwards, but it was all done, and most of it was done hands-on on the set. Is, right. is that also bringing an element as an actor to? It brings an element of excitement, you know what I mean? Because when you're standing there actually watching it, and uh, you, know, you know, you see them loading up, these hundreds of gallons of uh, you know, diesel fuel and going and blowing it up and when you're seeing the actual models coming at you and the, the, the fire uh, going around, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's easier. You don't have to act so much. Uh, you know, enjoy that. There obviously had to be some CGI as well and those guys do a, an incredible job. You know, ju just, uh, just phenomenal. But you combine the two and, uh, and uh, it's a hell of an experience. Yeah. And as a uh, fan, did you uh, ever separate yourself from what you're doing and say, that's a Terminator? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I do that. I do that all the time. You know, of course, you get used to it. You're there each and every day. But yeah, you stand back occasionally and just go, oh, I remember that. I remember this. I remember seeing this. And, you know, I was about 14 when I first saw the first one, you know, and then uh, 17 when I saw it in the theater and the second one. And of course, yeah, you can't help but feel that. Yeah. Had a great time. Thanks. Wonderful. Thanks.